If you sip it, I'm, like, I'm used to the lemon flavored one. If you sip it and don't do it as a shot, welcome kids to the alcoholic panel. Um, <laughs> it kind of tastes like pledge. <laughs> At which point you say, Kyle, how do you know what pledge tastes like? <laughs> it's what I imagine pledge would taste like. Um, <laughs> yes, I sit at home, I'm that bored. I just sit there and try furniture cleaner, <laughs> turpentine, because I won't drink hard booze. Why? Because it tastes like turpentine. How do you know it tastes like turpentine? <laughs> but I fell in love with yogurt flavored soju. So. If you ever, and I know that sounds weird, but if you ever have a chance and you're of age. <laughs> I know, right? Try that. We've been having lovely conversations this morning. Nothing about voice acting. We've had like, just so Fruit Loops with or without milk. And I said, something controversial. I don't like Fruit Loops. <laughs> Cap Crunch peanut butter. Yeah. Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. Oreos. Yeah. Chicks mix. Right, yeah. yeah and, uh, okay, here's something else controversial. I like my cereal soggy. Yeah! Because it makes the milk taste like the cereal. Peanut butter, Cap'n Crunch. Now granted, when you first put it in the bowl, it uh, will tear your teeth up and your gums start bleeding, right? <laughs> but you have to let it sit in milk for a few minutes. But after that, then it becomes like mush. And then, oh, and then you have like a peanut butter milkshake at the end. It's so good. And then my favorite cereal, and I was like, Kyle, shut up, just do the voice. <laughs> Booberry. Yeah. Booberry is awesome. And it's only Count Jocula. Frankenberry. Frankenberry? It's a Booberry. I know there's all these other ones, and they, they come to Target every Halloween season, and you buy them like crazy because they put retro packaging and all that. So I'm old, so I remember getting all that in the 70s. And you're like, ah, what's all this Halloween themed cereal? Oh, it's awesome. Because you put the blueberry in, it tastes like blueberries. And you put it in the milk, and then it gets mushy too. And then you're left with blue milk, and blue milk's awesome because Aunt Beru served that in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too nerdy for my own good. Yeah. Full frontal nerdity. Yeah. Like, I'm not even a Doctor Who fan, and Jeremy, Jeremy, stand up. You had to show off this shirt that uh, Natalie Hoover, lovely and talented voice actress, bought for him. Uh, it's Doctor Poo. Yeah. Doctor, Doctor Poo. It's adorable. It's, it's Toad's adorable. Uh, what are you wearing, Deb? House of Crane? I got it. Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, from yeah, Game of Thrones. I'm at my own house. I fucking rock. Yeah, you do. You do. She has a shirt that has her last name on it. Why wouldn't you wear that, you know? So, yeah, hi. I do voices, and I get paid to let them out of my head sometimes. And it's awesome. It's awesome. Even when I don't get paid, it's still awesome because I'm just that crazy. <laughs> it's fun to be crazy and live in your own little world trying to put outside thoughts that it's like, oh, I can't pay the rent this month, but I'm having fun. <laughs> How many street passes did you get this weekend on your 3DS? <laughs> How many puzzle pieces did you unlock? All oh, the puzzle pieces! <laughs> yeah, I unlocked a few. And then stupid me forgot to charge a 3DS, so yesterday I didn't bring it, and today I didn't bring it. I could have unlocked everything. Oh well, next year. <laughs> next year I'll unlock it all. Yeah, I know. But I mean, here's the nice thing about coming to Anime Expo, one of the largest in the country. You will unlock regions from around the world. You'll be like going around like, what? Norway? <laughs> I thought everyone was from LA. Like, no. People come from far and wide. Start throwing out names. Who, who traveled the farthest? Minnesota. Texas. Florida. 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 Florida wins so far. Down the street. Mexico? You don't live in Mexico. You may be from Mexico, but you are You're from England? You got one from England. Okay. Okay, England wins. I got someone from South Korea. I got one from Norway. South Korea? Norway. You did get some from Norway? I one person from Norway and one person from Japan. 
Japan. Thailand? I heard Japan. Japan? Oh, yeah. Wow. Australia! That's right. I took my 3DS when I went down under and I unlocked so many puzzles it was crazy. It was <laughs> crikey, it was great. I, and by the way, I didn't talk like that in front of them. I thought it would be insulting. <laughs> See, some voice actors try to blend in. You know, Troy Baker, he, he's got a great ear, so he can pull off dialects like perfect. He does a great black man, too. Not that that's a... That's not a dialect, is it? <laughs> he's, but I mean, it just, he just, he, he's a good mimic. And like him and John DiMaggio, they could do like the great Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan, oh, someone's about to get pregnant up in here. <laughs> oh, Tracy, get better. Come on, Tracy Morgan. But anyway, um, I went off on a tangent. Too soon. <laughs> he is getting better, isn't he? Okay, all right. I haven't heard anything. You don't see Tracy Morgan, hashtag R.I.P. Oh no. <laughs> Any of you people ever start a trend on what do you Twitter mean, just you to people? see what happens? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all your fault for making up. It's like, so and so died. Hashtag. You know, <laughs> hashtag JK. <laughs> I know I'll never be at fault or, or, or involved in one of those because no one can spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks it's Herbert. It's a bear. It's a bear, a bear, a bear. The H is silent, the E's like an A. Tell your friends. What's that Kyle Herbert? No, a bear. It couldn't be simple like Bloom, although Bloom gets Blum. I love Steve Blum, he's the best. That'd be funny if every fan actually talked like that. I don't need your Herbert. We won't swimming up the sea. I guess you did talk like that if you had the dental, the dental, uh, the, head gear. the head gear, right? I never did. I, my daughter lucked out. She only had to wear Invisalign, but she won't wear it all the time. I said, honey, you have to wear that. The more you let it sit there on the shelf, then the longer you're going to be nagged to wear it. <laughs> and it works. It does work. Her teeth aren't quite so crooked now. They're looking better, but um, they're expensive. <laughs> they are, they're like $200 a month. Mm. Yeah. Yes, how do you make someone wear them? Duct tape. Thread them. Oh. Take away her Xbox. Okay. Oh wait, I don't have, she said, take away the Xbox. I said, I, I don't have to take away the Xbox because I'm the gamer in the family, okay? <laughs> I'm the one that plays video games. She's just on her iPhone and the desktop and then the, the turn off the Wi-Fi. Oh, oh, that's a fate worse than death right there. Because that means I would have to suffer too. Not really, I mean, I have unlimited data. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. No, I have unlimited data, so I can't create a hotspot unless I pick a data plan. But no, uh, changing the password actually sounds like a pretty good idea. It kind of does. It kind of does. But she has data on her phone, too. Uh, unlimited data. We're grandfathered in on AT&T. So I'm never leaving on AT&T. It does slow you down. Yeah, you get throttled, which sounds like you get no, your ass kicked. No more hot pockets. No more hot pockets, yeah. All right. Yeah. No more I find that positive reinforcement is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I won't take you to Hot Topic this week. Ooh. Oh. oh, the horror. Oh, God. Hi, so people have questions? Do we have someone with a mic that's going to come over here? And Maybe you guys could line up. Can you guys line up like right down here and make a line? And then we're going to have a gentleman here with a microphone. And um, yeah, we'll make this we'll make this fun because I know we're on a time crunch and everything. Can I check one, please? Uh, Call the mic, one, 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 one. Yo, who do we have here? Uh, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Rancho Cucamonga. Do people ever say it like that? Uh, not the people I know. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You should. You should start saying it like some big game show announcer. I'm from Rancho <laughs> Oh, what's your question? Well, um, 
I was wondering, um, if, if you can go back to the time when you were uh, at the beginning of, of trying to pursue the voice acting career, um, what would you say is the best, uh, the best way to, to get started? And also, can you say my body is ready in Frederick's voice? <laughs> my body is ready. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that sounded like Ryu too. Uh, going back to the beginning of, you can sit down, I will answer your question though. Uh, the beginning of the voice acting thing, what would I do different? I mean, I, I got into it from hearing about auditions from being in radio. I don't suggest anyone become a DJ to become a voice actor. You want to be a voice actor, take acting classes. And I don't feel like a hypocrite saying that because that wasn't my path. I've taken classes since I've gotten to voice act and I've gotten better. So there's something to that. We don't just say that because, you know, there's some big conspiracy trying to keep you away from achieving your dreams. It's just a very specific thing. Think of it like this. You want to do fill in the blank. Well, obviously there's steps to get to that fill in the blank. And usually it involves a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of dedication, and not giving up, despite all the crap that mounts around you. Like people going, get a real job! Or, you know, you're in a crappy minimum wage thing. It's like, I'm never going to have enough to buy a USB mic or, you know, take a class. It's like, don't send that into the universe. Send the positive, the positive, powerful messages into the universe. It's like, it may be a year from now when I take that class, but by gum, I'm going to save my money. You know how you save your money and you buy a $60 video game? You can use that same money and not buy the video game. What, Kyle? But I have to buy Arkham Knight. <laughs> okay, buy Arkham Knight. But you can also put money away and then, like, see, I'm just saying that. <laughs> but it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. And when you use that money towards something like moving where the work is, or networking, or whatever, to get closer to your goals, oh my god, it feels good. It feels so good when you take a step, and then your family and your friends and whatever your social media support group goes, you go do that thing. And this is for anybody, because I know there's a lot of future animators out there, not just voice actors, people that want to do something in the creative arts out here. So don't say to yourself, I'm limited by my funds or where I live. You're not limited. Not in the long run. Just say that to yourself. You know, I can do this. Now, will it happen? Will it happen? That's up to fate. That's hard to say. It may not, but if you try, that feels better than wondering, what if? Right? right? Something in that. I'm Tony Robbins. Thank you. Yes. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Um, I'm Kai Jordan. Uh, this is my second year at uh, AX. And um, my question is, um, you voice over the character Webmaster in the series Terrain of Magical Expertise, correct? Tome by Kermit or Chris Neosi. Yes. Who's here, actually, at the convention? Yes. Um, my question, uh, this is a thing in terms of the series, um, what do you enjoy most about Webmaster, um, what do you enjoy most about the series in general, and do you have anything to look forward to in season two? Uh, yes, I've recorded stuff for season two. I enjoy just the, I know it sounds like a cop-out answer, but I mean, I just love the chance to play any sort of character that's not me, you know? Um, I love things like Tome and other webisode con content because this puts the power of entertainment creation into the hands of the users, and I love that. Now, is there a lot of crap? Yeah, there is, but same can be said of movies, same can be said of TV shows, anything that's professionally produced, but the indie scene that's up and coming, that's exciting. The internet is this, this great new frontier where there's a chance where people can get in on the ground floor even. And you've seen a lot of web celebs come up from nothing to suddenly their, their income is based on ad clicks and all that stuff or people visiting their page and whatnot. So it can happen. I love that. It's, it's, it feels good to be a part of this revolution. It's exciting, actually. Cool. Hello, Kyle. Hi. Hi. Um, I have three quick questions, if you don't mind. Go for it. Um, first off, would you consider yourself a method actor? Second question is, do you ever catch yourself reading things in like your own like dialogue made by your characters in the character's voice? And third, how about that Frederick proposal to the Avatar unit? 
Hmm, on Fire Emblem Awakening. I actually don't remember any of the dialogue other than pick a god and pray. Yeah, like, I remember Matthew Mercer was saying, like, his is like a very, like, say from something, like, do it as awkwardly as possible, like, make it all <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we get, we get that. It's so funny when you record a game, there's no studying, there's no rehearsal, there's no run-through rehearsal, any of that stuff. You get there, and the script's in front of you, you see for the very first time, you have no idea what the context is, you don't know who your character's talking to, because it's not written out like a script or a screenplay or any of that stuff. I forgot the other question, I'm sorry. Um, the first one? Method actor? Method actor. No. No. No, no. Throwing no actual throwing Hadoukens, not no ordering Super Saiyan-sized quarter... <laughs> Powder with cheese, none of that. No. And the question was, uh, if you ever caught your, catch yourself reading your own character's dialogue in you, in ah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I talk to myself all the time. At first, I thought I was crazy, but I'm just a voice actor, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I do. I do talk in voices to myself quite often, and then I get on my daughter. It's like, stop talking to yourself. People think you're crazy. Oh wait. <laughs> Sometimes I try to create new characters. I'll sit there and talk to myself as a wizard as I'm brushing my teeth. Go, wizard Harry. Ah, I have to use that voice on an audition. Perhaps it will let me some work. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but yeah, sometimes it happens. But I don't like have character conversations of things I've done. I'm always looking to, you know, think outside the box. And it's like, what else? What other tricks can I throw out there? Because I know people will cast me or throw me auditions based on what they think I can do, but your demo is a cross-section of things that showcase what you're best at, but that demo is a work in progress. And over time, you may be better at other things. So you need to, and I'm terrible at doing this because my demo's eight years old, but don't do what I did, kids. Your demo should be freshened up every couple years and put new, new voices on there as you study and perfect them. Preferably under the guidance of professional acting coaches. Um, but in the meantime, you say, I can't afford that. Well, have your friends help you. Have, if you go to your friends who are actors, go to your friends and say, hey, listen to this and all that stuff. Yeah, you never know. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for building the drama. Uh, Hi, so my name is Shay. Hi. And um, I actually saw you at Acon Dallas. So yeah. Yay, Acon. Yeah. Um, so, firstly, my dad's like a huge Street Fighter fan. He literally grew up on that thing as if it was his drug. And secondly, this is my actual question. Um, so, to talk about Gren Lagon for a moment, because no one's mentioned this. So, everybody's been talking about this, but they said if Gren Lagon were to cross over with the series, it would be with Kill La Kill. The question is, if they were to cross over, in your opinion, who do you think would win in a fight and why? Well, communists going to win just because, you know. <laughs> Spoilers, he's not around very long in the original show. But um, I think just from a vengeance standpoint, he's going to be like zombie Kamina, but still be hot. Uh, so he's going to come back and he's totally going to obliterate the, the landscape, I think. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Hi. Hello, I'm Daniel I'm from Carson. Hi, welcome. Uh, so when I was young, one of the big shows I used to watch a lot was Digimon. <laughs> cool. I I also watched all, all of the episodes so far from Digimon Fusion and have, have and have enjoyed both Felicimon and Drusus Mons' voice, which is you. Thank you. How is it like to work on that show? That's what I want to ask. Well, how's it like working on any show? See, in anime, uh, if you record solo, so you're only there with the director and the engineer. Um, but in the cartoon world. It hasn't been animated yet, so you get to work with the whole cast. That's the most fun. That is hands down the most fun. But it's really cool to work in anime because you get to see everything in the way the fans are going to see it. It is what it is. The downside is you can't change that animation to fit the way you speak. You have to alter how you speak to fit what's been animated. And that's the fun challenge of dubbing. And sometimes my character, like on Digimon Fusion, for example, one of them is a robot. Um, to rule them on, and at least, oh, sorry, Ballistamon. Ballistamon has no mouth, so, but I still have to say the line in a set amount of time because it has to match the Japanese timing. 
So it's freeing in one sense, but you're still constricted by, by that sort of thing. But I think it's cool that I got to come back to another huge property, and I don't know how it's doing, but Digimon Fusion on the CW, and there's toys out there. Go get them. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Alex. Hi, Alex. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Orange County. Welcome. Uh, okay, my question is this. Uh, Battle Royale, free for all, um, MMA rules, who would win in a fight? You, Steve Bloom, or Yuri Lowenthal? <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien? Stephanie Shea. Stephanie Shea. <laughs> she is the one called Sailor Moon. Yeah. Um, I would just defer to Steve Bloom because he's such a hero of mine. And Yuri's pretty darn awesome, too. I would just step out of the ring. It's like, I'm just, I'll film it, okay? <laughs> I'll just step out of the ring. I'll fi that just sounds weird and disturbing, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, you're going to film Steve Blue and Yuri. Doing what? <laughs> MMA. <laughs> okay. Manly man fighting, wrestling on the ground. We're going in another direction now. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matthew. I'm from San Fernando Valley. Um, I yeah. want to yeah, run your remarks about blueberry. Did you know that um, you can special order blueberry year round directly from General Mills? Oh yeah, I have. I've done that. I've been that guy who orders cereal for ten dollars a box with shipping. But actually, okay, it wasn't blueberry. I ordered Quisp. Quisp cereal isn't widely available, but I found it once at the ninety-nine cent store. So I bought like three boxes. And then I was so sad when I ran out. And then I look online, oh, I can still buy $10. <laughs> Who wants cereal that bad? You. You. You're right, you're right, I do, I do. Yes. Um, my question is that, um, what was it like working with Doug Walker in the Kyle A. Barrett is an a-hole video? Yeah, the Kyle A. Barrett is an a-hole video uh, is a skit done several years ago where we were both guests at MatsuriCon in Columbus, Ohio, and he comes up to me and says, I have an idea for a skit. You know how fans come up to you and say, do the narrator for Dragon Ball Z next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's like, so I do that. And he goes, oh my God, that's great. And that's usually where it ends, right? But I keep doing it. I keep talking and annoying him and following him, stalking him, chasing him down the hall. And he's like, stop, shut up, no! And for a while, when you put my name in Google, that was the first search result. <laughs> and people would have to click on that because they thought, but Carl's such a nice guy. Who thinks he's an a-hole? Oh. <laughs> He really doesn't think I'm an a-hole. It's just funny. Yay. Where are the free hookers at? Where are the free hookers at? Oh, we blew the... Oh. They're late, too. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my name is Kira. Hi, Kira. Um, today is my brother's 14th birthday party. I mean, birthday... Yeah. He couldn't come. Yes. And I was wondering if I could record you saying happy birthday to him in Kamina's voice because he loves that show a lot. Toots my goats. <laughs> what is your brother's name? Trent. Trent? Yeah. And it's happy 14th birthday, huh? Yeah, now they say hi. What? We should all say hi. We should all say hi. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. You rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. <coughs> happy birthday, Trent. Happy 14th birthday, Trent. This is Kamina from Gurren Lagan. Pierce the heavens with your drill! Right, guys? <laughs> Just who the hell do you think I am? <laughs> Woot. <laughs> I, I have... One question and a very one second question. That'll just take one second. I died. That's fine. And then, uh, all right. How would you say I should practice my voice acting and how I present it to get noticed? And then, Goku versus Superman. Who wins? <laughs> Goku wins. Superman has powers because of a, a technicality. Yeah. On Krypton, he couldn't fly and do all that stuff. He does here because of our, of our son, right? Thank you. Yeah. Saiyans have power, period. <laughs> Done. Strong. That's good. As far as 
doing things to take steps to be a voice actor, one free thing you could do is practice aloud. Read aloud 10 minutes a day by yourself to your friends. Record it preferably. Study the trends in advertising. What, Kyle? You're telling me to watch commercials? Yes, I'm telling you to watch commercials. Not because I want you to buy products, but because I want you to study the performances. What is it about that performance that booked that actor's role, that made them land? It's like, oh, they're kind of funny. What quirky sense of improv did they do to make twist that little line of dialogue and make it sound, ah, make it punch? And that's what it is that sells a performance. Your, your skills to improvise and do subtle vocalizations that aren't always scripted to, to lift that thing off the page and give it life. Um, so practice, read aloud, record it, study it, play it back. Network with other actors. You never know who you're going to meet, who knows somebody, who knows somebody, who knows somebody who might be having auditions. Now eventually, um, you're going to have to professionally record a demo. But in the meantime, if you have a simple USB mic, record something at home, sit there and study that. Have a little makeshift demo. Your demo ultimately is going to be 60 seconds-ish, roughly a minute. And it's not going to necessarily be zany, wacky cartoon voices. It has to show off your acting range, first and foremost. Your uh, demo needs to start with the signature voice. The sound that people know they're, they're getting when they listen to Kyle Bear. what does he sound like? They know in the first 10 seconds when they hear my normal speaking voice on a commercial or, or, or whatever. And then from there, you start going pew, 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 all over the spectrum. Again, not doesn't have to be zany over the top. <laughs> if they want that, they'll hire the guys that go <laughs> But there's plenty of guys who make a living just with their normal speaking voice. That could be you. <laughs> not saying it will. But you never know. You never know. Give it a try. Yes. Um, hi, I'm Brian. I'm from New Loma, and I had um, one question. Um, which anime had the most influence on you? Influence. Well, I grew up watching Speed Racer in the 70s. Also, Battle of the Planets and Star Blazers, because that, that got brought to America thanks to Star Wars. Uh, those were pretty instrumental in my childhood. Uh, but the one that really stands the test of time to me, Cowboy Bebop. I am so blessed to know the people that have worked on that show, and I work with them on other shows, but if I could go back in time and be a fly on the wall, I would love to be on Cowboy Bebop. But I do, I do get to be on Space Dandy. That's sort of tied to Cowboy Bebop, right? A little bit? Just a little bit. Um, my name is William, I'm from San Diego. Hi, Rick. And uh, I would like to request if you could do any voices of um, Ezreal and Dragon 4 from League of Legends. Oh, yeah. Who needs a map? Demacia, for the king! Which one I say for the king? People said Dovahkiin? Like, no, <laughs> not that. Took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> you belong in a museum. <laughs> See, I'll let you in on a secret. It sounds like Gohan. My Kiba sounds like Gohan. My Kamina sounds like Gohan. <laughs> Ryu sounds like Fallman on FMA. <laughs> what? Aizen sounds like Karasu on Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, we rip ourselves off all the time. It's fun. But the difference is the characters. The characters are really different. When I hear like people being hypercritical, it's like, oh, so-and-so sounds the same in every show. It's like, ah, that's not a fair cr criticism. Be nice. Be nice. Respect. These people work because they're good actors. That's why they get hired over and over again. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm Levi from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm wondering if... Um, Having your tonsils out has anything to do with like range or skill in voice acting or anything? Ooh, good question. Does tonsils affect it? Like, I don't know. I still have my tonsils. Almost everyone I know had their tonsils removed as a child, and I still have them. And every time I go to the have a, have a checkup, the doctor goes, "Wow, your tonsils are huge." Like, is that, is that bad? It's like, no, it just is. They're huge. Like, and I'm afraid to have them removed because I'm worried it will affect my. But I honestly don't know. And because I hear it's really painful as an adult to have them removed for some reason. So I was like, well, I'm allergic to pain. <laughs> so I think I'll keep my tonsils. Although I wonder if having my tonsils is also affecting me as a sleeper. I have sleep apnea. 
you know, sleep apnea affects your, it's like a hyper extreme version of snoring where you, you don't sleep in, in full deep REM sleep, you, you're, uh, you wake yourself up or you're gagging and gasping for air. So what I do and what many sleep apnea sufferers do is sleep with a mask. You look like Bane, but you sleep with a mask that has a hose connected to a little machine that's basically blowing air in and keeping your air passageways open. So you won't wake up gasping for air and doing all that. Um, there's no for sure cure, although that does help a lot. They say that, oh, lose weight, that'll help it. Like I used to weigh a lot less than I do now, and I still had it. So it's a genetic thing. Yay, you learned something today. Sleep at me, boys and girls. Science! Okay, hi. So I wanted to ask, how did you get started with uh, voicing League of Legends, and how was it like voicing Israel? Okay, voicing Ezreal, or voicing Jarvan, or voicing Graves, same exact process. I get audition sides through email, I record from home, send it off, and then I move on with my life. And then a few weeks later, or months later, I might hear back going, congratulations, you've been cast on so-and-so. And I go, that's great, what is that? Because I've auditioned for tons of other stuff in between that time. So then again, it's like a really like, oh, sweet, yeah. Um, that, that's an important mindset to have when you audition. Don't sit there and go, oh my god, I hope they hire me. Chances are they're not. But if they do, oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> so Riot Games just, uh, you know, for example, with, with League, um, they did a contract with Bang Zoom Studios in Burbank, and then Burbank had, uh, Bang Zoom has this whole archive of voice actor demos, and they say, all right, well, we're gonna do the recording for this game, uh, we're going to use our voice actor database and send out audition sites based on their demos. Who do we think you should read for? So I read for Ezreal, I read for Jarvan, I read for Graves. I read for dozens of other characters. And I got three. Oh my god, I'm lucky. Because most people get one. But um, yeah, so I recorded on that. Uh, the, I remember the first session took about 20 minutes because there's not a lot of stuff. If you play League of Legends, the characters aren't very verbose. <laughs> they say little in-game battle shout-outs and that's about it. But when I got to the magic power-up stuff, they said, it's kind of like a power-up, you know, like, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? But, uh, <laughs> yes! Actually, yes! I, I have some experience in that realm. So when they did the Pulse Fire skin for Ezreal, the downloadable stuff, uh, they had a little in-joke about Dragon Ball Z, about, like, what is the power level? Like, this, you know, oh, it's over 9,000, says the computer, and I go, I thought so. Yeah. It is! Yes, what he did. Only in sane proportions, of course. <laughs> ah, yes. So, yeah, that freaked them out. They fanboyed in the booth. And I thought, all right, I'm in with the client. This is awesome. They're like, oh my god, you're gone? Oh, wow. You know, like, sweet. I love that. So thank you. Hi, my name is India. and Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could talk to one of my friends on the phone, like, for a minute. Ooh, are they on? Um, not yet. You should call them right now. And I'm going to answer the other question while you get them on the line. Hello, my name's Alfredo. Hi. I'm Natalie Native, and I was wondering, is there any upcoming projects or projects you're excited about this year? Yes, everything that I can announce. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I am Kakyoin on JoJo's Stardust Crusaders that got announced yesterday. I have a small part on Kill la Kill. His name's Hojo. Not a big role. But he's in it. I get to be in it. I'm happy. Because the, the Aniplex um, guys are like, we always, they always throw me in everything they do. Almost everything they do. It's pretty cool. But uh, other projects. Uh, what is coming up? Battle of Gods, thank you! Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods, in theaters, in select theaters, August 6th, 7th, Nine. 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 something like that. Something like that. Buy your tickets now on DragonBallZ.com, it has a full theater listing. So hopefully you guys live near a theater, and if not, don't freak out, eventually the DVD and Blu-ray will come out. I don't have a release date on that, but eventually, it'll come out. I get to come back as the narrator, narrator and Team Gohan, and Ox King. Thank you. Hi, so is your friend on the phone? All right. Ooh, can we put him on speaker? Do it. Speaker. Hey, hey Sam, you're on speaker. Hi. Woo! Our panel is really excited.
excited to, to, to see you here, or hear you here. <laughs> You didn't have a ride? Oh, boo, you couldn't take the train or something? Nah. <laughs> I'm too lazy for that. Too lazy. Okay. So, what what do you want to talk about? We have very limited time. Did you want to hear a voice or something or a question? <laughs> What's your favorite character? Favorite character? I know this, this is going to sound weird, but I got to do Ryu in Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> so... Yeah, he has two lines in the beginning of the movie. And me getting to be in a Disney movie means more to me than the length of the lines. <laughs> yes, I, I am so lucky that I got to do that. And I hope I get to do it again. But uh, you should watch Wreck-It Ralph. Because <laughs> it's better than Frozen. <laughs> I know, I know, I should just let it go. I really should. <laughs> okay, Sam, I'm gonna hand you back now. I hope you have a wonderful day and we hope to see you at AX 2015, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Say bye. 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 Yay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Next. Hey, I'm Justin from San Diego, California. And Kyle, since you voice like a ton of characters in your life, do you feel like you take a piece of them with you? Like, for example, you're feeling down and out and you have to face an impossible task. You think to yourself, who the hell do you think I am? Sometimes. Actually, actually, no, I haven't really thought about that. I stay pretty grounded. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with looking to anime characters to help you through the rough time. I'm saying that my personal journey has never really done on that. I've just relied on family and friends. Um, but I think it's awesome that people do look to animated media, uh, such as anime and manga and video games, because it, it is an escape. This whole event is an escape. How many people are going back to a crummy job tomorrow? No job. Yo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not recording. Oh, I am recording. I'm recording Naruto tomorrow. But... Uh, <laughs> But I have auditions to record, I have things to do, and then I have to travel, and I'm just like, oh, shut up, you. you know, like, yeah, I know. But, uh, yes, I'm, I totally forgot your question. Did I answer it? For the most part. For the most part? Oh, okay. Ah, well, thank you. Awesome. Next. Um, hello, my Hi. name is Vanessa. I'm Hi, from Whittier. Me and my friends have this inside joke, and I was wondering if you could do it in Kiva's voice. Inside joke as Kiba from Naruto, yes. okay? Can you say having fun is fun? Having fun is fun! <laughs> That's why it's an inside joke, you're not supposed to get it. <laughs> the context of that is probably like yaoi tastic, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But okay, I'm sorry for the folks that I couldn't get the question to. Sorry, but we, I guess it's wrap up time, right? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm sorry, I'm getting the sign. Thank you all for coming. Sorry to the guys who just walked in or wanted to just like, oh, much love, much love. Enjoy the rest of AX. Thank you.